now to make our grid pattern shirt, it's a fold pattern, we take our shirt and we fold in half, and then you can fold it, again, just really however you think you want it. Every place, you'll, you'll want to just dye your edges once you get it folded, and you can come up with different ones and you'll end up with this awesome grid pattern. Now you wrap your um, finished t-shirt design in our newspaper. That helps absorb a little of the dye. You don't have to use the newspaper, but that's fine. Just go ahead and put it in your zip top bag, or you can use a regular plastic bag. We choose zip top because it helps contain the mess, and we all know I need all the help I can get not being messy. So just kind of squeeze the air out, and go ahead and zip it up. Now I've heard that you can put these out in the sun and kind of help bake heat the uh, dye into it. You just want to make sure that your shirt stays wet. Leave the shirt in here. Bless you. Um, our follow your manufacturer's instructions. If you got a camp kit then I think they said like six to eight hours. Um, we tend to leave ours for a little bit longer just to try and intensify the color but you know just follow your manufacturer's recommendations and You'll see me back when it's time to rinse our shirts out. Bye.